Hello and welcome to this week's angling blog. Today you join me at first light on a beautiful Cheshire Mere. The sun is just a fleck of orange behind them trees at the moment and we're going to be greeted to a beautiful sunrise in the next half hour. It really is a beautiful place to wet a line. Today, pike are going to be the target, and hopefully, you know we can get one on the bank. But today is just about the experience of being on here, as much as it is catching a fish. Sometimes fishing is just an excuse for being outside. And when it's as beautiful as this, it's going to be an enjoyable day. So conditions wise, as you can see, the Mia is gin clear, you know, it's absolutely gin. And what it means is obviously the pike have got good visibility out there. There's a good depth, you're talking, what, 15 foot, literally about there, and then it goes deeper. Um, the hard part about this place is the fact that you can only fish days from that tree there to them trees down there is the limit of what you can fish so the challenge with the place is is hard when you think about your dead bait in all that water obviously it goes around the corner as well you know you're only fishing a tiny tiny percentage of the water but any pike from here is beautiful I'll put a link to the top of the screen now of previous sessions that I've done on here and you'll see on that one just how nice the pike are. They are beautifully marked pike because of the clear water. So, I'm just going to sit back and hopefully wait for that run. So with the rods out, tactics for the day, I've got my first rod just fishing probably about 30 yards out, uh, not too far. A gentle chuck for anything that's you know patrolling close in and my other rod which is there I've got probably about five yards in from level with that boy not obviously at the boy but five yards this way straight out in front and that's on a lamprey section so one thing on here you're never really in too much of a rush to get in very rarely do you get a bite straight away we have done in the past don't get me wrong but normally it's half an hour to an hour in that the rods go so the rods are both in get the shelter set up in the the area where we're going to sit and what we're going to do is go a run each so whoever gets the first one if we get another one the other person has it and have a bit of fun so just start in the morning with a bit of wobbling and just stood in the main in my waders and like I say it's a beautiful place to wet a line isn't it you know it's it's just peaceful you've got the day behind you and they're in the rutting season so normally I would try and get a couple of pictures but obviously not the brightest thing to do today so I'll pop a couple of pictures on screen now with you know shots that I've got on here when I've been on here in the past and I'm just going to work this inside margin with a smelt and just see if we can you know pick a fish up that might be sitting just in the shallower water and then work it back up the shelf as well like I say there's no rush with this type of fishing pike fishing is one of them things that is very relaxing as opposed to the trotting that I do on the channel and the, the stick float fishing you know where you're very active you're casting all the time and you're reeling in i like me pike fishing to be the complete opposite of it you know a lot of it is just casting out sitting back 
or wobbling a smelt like I am now. It is all about that relaxation with it, with the piking for me. And hopefully there'll be an ESOX waiting for me along this line. And as you've just seen on screen there, what beautiful pike they are. My mate Steve just had the first one of the day. Let's see what we can see when we go under the water. we go my turn for the rod to go off and hopefully you can see there what I mean eight pound 13 ounces and what beautiful pike they are the colors on them are fantastic and it doesn't matter on here whether it was two pound or eight pound just to get one is enough that is an absolutely beautiful pike one each it's about half past ten, so already the session's been made. The beautiful mirror behind me, and yeah, let's get this beautiful pike straight. The pike resting in the net. The rod is back out. It's time to have that brew that we put on after Steve's pike. Always have a celebratory brew. And now, a pike each. Whatever happens, happens. It's just beautiful to be out on the bank and always good when you come with a mate and you both get one when we were saying about the colors just look at that in that clear water he's more than ready to go back and as I always say when they're ready to get out the net themselves then they're telling you it's time to go back so let's let this fish go we've had our few moments with it and what beautiful colors they have Let's let it go. Beautiful pike, if we just look at the colours on it, it's time for it to go back. Feeding well, the supporter. Right, so I'll we'll quickly go over the setup that I'm using today. I've got my 12 foot snapper dead bait cult rod. It's 12 foot, 3.25 pound test curve. And it's my first session out today with the rod and managed to get that fish. So I'm proper made up that I've christened one of the rods. As I say, sometimes, you know, it can be a jinx when you get new rods on the bank. So that's one of them christened at least. The reel is my Zelos 6000 reel mini pit, again by Corum. The line is £60 Drennan Esox. I've got that down to a um, Corum low resistance run ring. The same ones that you use for the barbel. Fantastic for the pike as well. I've got a Dinsmore gripper lead, and that's a three ounce gripper lead. As I say, this some big casts although that one did come on the close in rod um, a quick change swivel on which I've got a bead to protect the knot and then it's just my 18 inch wire trace that I make myself and on this rod I've got the lamprey as you can see on screen now you can see how the bait will sit on the bottom you know the line tight and what you want when you get a run the lead actually stays still that's why you use a heavy lead so it stays still 
on the bottom like that and when the pipe takes the line just pulls through the lead that actually stays in place it's not like carp fishing where you want the bolt the lead actually stays in situ and your run comes as the carp moves away as the pike sorry moves away so that's how it works no resistance at all and obviously when you get a run you've got the bite alarms and the the swingers on the back to keep the line tight you actually have your bail arm open and I'll go over how the rods sit in a minute when they're in the water but that is the simple setup that I'm going to be using today right so into the water and how the setup works so you cast your bait out however far you want to go this rods just before that in line with that boy the long range rod you wind down so the line is tight so it goes through the bite alarm and then the lat with the bail arm off so as you can see there the bail arm is off the reel and the line goes from the spool down to a fox um, hanger and what happens when you get a run the pike can either come towards you in which case you'll get slack line and the swinger will fall or you get the pike move away the line pulls out the clip and then you hear that clink of the swinger hitting the metal and in piking there's no better sound than hearing that metal of this hit that and of course the bite alarm screaming off so that's the basic mechanics of how it works it's piking in its simplest form you know um, and exactly how it works well sorry if that is a bit basic but what you've got to remember the lads who are a bit more experienced is there are people on the channel I get a lot of questions with the piking about basic questions and anybody can watch these videos on YouTube and what I want them to do is be able to go out you know learn something from the video if they're new try it and you know piking is one of them things that people are daunted by and it's not one of them things that you really need to be scared about it's a fantastic form of fishing and hopefully these videos well these videos do get people into piking because I've had so many comments from people who've watched the videos and have then gone fishing and caught fish but if you guys are experienced just understand that you know I keep it basic because this could be somebody's first ever video on the channel so that's the simple setup that I use what I love most is the different colours on them trees over there you can see all the colours of autumn the greens, the oranges, the yellows it really is a beautiful time of year to be on the mere and the days on here really do fly by it's a blink of an eye one of them places that before you know it the day's finished and you know it's time to head home we've probably got about two hours of the session left just had the last cast and hopefully one of the rods will just pull out the clip and we'll get one more pike to finish the day on right so the session comes to an end there now as you can see it's a very different day than the morning when we arrived overcast cool and the temperature has dropped during the session as I said at the start you know the sessions on here are always good whether you catch or not but when you manage to cross paths with one of them special pike that look so wonderful with them colours you've got to leave a happy man when you come with two of you and you both get a fish it's what makes it worthwhile it's a big big expanse of water so proper made up with that result today and to christen one of the rods more than made up you know it's always good to get out on the bank with new tackle and the rods have cast fantastic you know managing to get out to the the boy in the background so made up with them and looking forward to catching plenty of pike on them the session does come to an end now there's just a one rod to bring in hope you've enjoyed the blog and the adventure on the mere i'd like to wish you all tight lines in your own fishing 
you know if you like the video feel free to like and subscribe and i'll catch us all next time tight lines